Hey everyone, in this Java tutorial, I will be teaching you on how to use the grid bag layout for your J panel. So that means that you'll be able to make a custom made layout for your program. So far, we have these five buttons that appear horizontally of the screen. But we want to tell Java that we want to move these buttons to different positions. So basically, this window is like a graph. Horizontally of this window is considered as the x-axis. Vertically of this window is considered as the y-axis. So that means that this button 1 is at a position of 0, 0, meaning x equals 0 and y equals 0. And the next one, the coordinates of this button 2 would be 1, 0, meaning x is 1 and y is 0, etc. If there's a button underneath this button 1, then its position would be 0, 1, meaning x equals 0 and y equals 1, etc., and so on. So, this is my code of uh, the five buttons. I've imported the libraries. I extended the JPanel, so that means that you don't have to have the JPanel object. I've created the five variables from this object so I can make the five buttons like I did in this constructor and I added the buttons onto the J panel one at a time and this is my window that I've made and I added the J panel onto the frame so if you got everything then we're ready to go so yeah in order to use the grid back layout, you have to type in set layout, open and close parentheses, and semicolon. Inside of this parentheses, type in new grid bag constraints, or not constraints, but layout. So type this in and make sure that you import the grid bag layout library and now we have to make the grid bag constraints object because this object right here calls for that object so type in grid bag constraints uh, gbc or make your own variable doesn't have to be the same new grid bag constraints so yeah and make sure that you import the library for for the uh, grid bag constraints and yeah this object calls for this object so this or this will get the information of the coordinates of each buttons so I'll be using this variable underneath the line of the creation of the button so GBC equals new or not equals GBC dot grid X equals zero so this is the X position and the position is zero X wise and now let's make the GBC again and grid y equals zero as well so the coordinate is zero zero and we have to apply that GBC to the uh, addition of the the first button onto the J panel <laughs> so and we use the GBC the position so Java will know that we're telling 
it to apply this position onto this button. So we have to do the same thing for each um, for each buttons. So GBC, GBC, and GBC, and GBC. So yeah, if we don't uh, overwrite this grid X and Y, then all the buttons would be positioned at zero zero but we don't want that so we have to override it by using the same grid X and Y's I'll change the numbers after I'm done copy and pasting so yeah I want my buttons to align diagonally so I'll do one and one two and two three and three four and four the reason why this grid f the four doesn't affect this one right here the first button is because that we've used grid X and Y to zero and we apply it onto the J panel before we even overwrite the new value so that's why each buttons have their unique positions so now let's run it and see what happens. Now we have a button or we have the buttons aligned diagonally. So that's pretty good. So now let me repositioning Yeah, let me re reposition this button 5 underneath the uh, button 2. And I want to stretch this button 5 across to button 4. So yeah. One, two, three, four. Okay. Let me reposition it at one and keep it the same at the Y. So memorize this next one. So GBC dot grid width equals, let's do three. This right here means that this button will take up three spaces on the X and you know, on the X axis so yeah now we have this button five in the middle and I set this as one but then the button is right here because I set the width of three so this button is taking up these three spaces so this space this space and this space so let's stretch it out now. So GBC dot fill equals grid bag constraints dot horizontal, meaning that you're stretching the button horizontally. So now let's see what it looks like. Now we have a stretched out button horizontally. Now let's stretch this button one vertically down right here. So it should be simple. So for this button one, we type in GBC dot grid height equals four. and we have to type in grid height for every buttons so each one can't be stretching down to four and we don't we do not want that so we only want this button to be able to do that not all buttons so we have to overwrite it to say it to say that we only want to stretch only one grid and that's the default by the way one 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 here and yeah you don't have to type in grid uh, grid width for every one 
because this is the last button and yeah so GB secret height is four and yeah let's see what it looks like now we see our button one appear here and it's taken up four grid spaces or not horizontally but vertically now let's stretch it out so GBC dot fill equals grid bag constraints vertical and now let's see what it looks like Was good. We got one more. Let's do five, I guess. <laughs> Duh, five. Now we have a good looking button right here that met with button five. Button one, button five, diagonal buttons right here. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Now there's one more thing to do which is the insets so basically what it does is that it spreads the buttons away from each other so it's kinda like padding so type in gbc.insets equals new insets make sure that your eye is capitalized or else it won't work at all and make sure that you imported the insets library once you're done with that then we have to make five not no not five four parameters for this insets object so let's do five 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 the first one is the spacing to the top the second one is the spacing to the left. The third one is the spacing to the bottom. And the last one is the spacing to the right. So five, 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 five. Okay. Now we should should have buttons spread apart from each other, away from each other. So yes. Space here, space, space, space. So, yes, this concludes my tutorial over how to use the grid bag layout. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for my next tutorial.